I don't mind saying this is sick the vindictive and as always I'm not gonna hide from it I did not stream last night I was dog tired I fell asleep I do apologize it won't happen uh, for a while <laughs> I'll make sure to stream tonight for you guys uh, but I wanted to talk about something and originally I wasn't gonna do this I wasn't planning on doing it no even though it's a, you know something I enjoyed very very much I wasn't planning on doing any more movie reviews. I figured that was something that I did for a bit. It was fun. Yeah, I was like, it, it had its time. It's not what I do. But after I saw Avengers Endgame for the fifth time, I decided, okay, I'm going to see this movie this many times. I love it that much. I, I should probably talk about it. I should probably just talk about it. Now, number one, this movie, not everyone loves it. In fact, there are some people who think it's trash. Um, I am here to tell you that those people are mentally ill, okay? When it comes to opinions, you guys know that I am very much a person of preference, of perspective. If you like something, you like it. If you don't like something, that's fine. You don't have to like it. You know, you can, you, anything's up for criticism. Anything is up for criticism. It really is. But the criticisms I've been hearing for the people who don't like Avengers Endgame are complete crap. People are throwing plot twists. Oh, this is... I mean, not plot twists, but plot holes. Oh, this is a plot hole. This doesn't make any sense. And... No. It, it, there, I have yet to hear a valid, solid plot hole for Endgame. I'll give you an example. One of the plot holes that I see a lot is people saying, Well, it's kind of stupid that the Infinity Gauntlet, the original one, had to be specially made by... Uh, I forget what his name was. The Asgardian ally... You know, with the dying, or not the die, the, just the the star, and that's how they made the gauntlet, and it had to be made there. And now Tony is able to make his own gauntlet, and everything's right. If you'll notice, as soon as Hulk, Professor Hulk, Banner, whatever, puts on oh big big spoilers by the way, sorry, I, I'll put that in the thing. As soon as Professor Hulk puts on the gauntlet, it starts to hurt him. It's it's incredibly unstable, and that's because it was made by Tony Stark. It wasn't made with the Dying Star, so it's it's not the same thing. Yeah, it still functions almost the same way, but Thanos was able to wear the gauntlet, the original gauntlet, and with all the stones, and it didn't even hurt him then. So no, they clearly showed that the gauntlet that Tony made is quite unstable. Now, the gauntlet that he had for himself before he snapped Tony Stark, I mean, that one, you'll notice it doesn't hurt him quite as much. You could tell he's kind of like struggling with it, uh, but that probably has to do due to the fact that it's with the suit. He's underneath the suit. It's not physically touching his skin at that moment. And after his little escapade with Thor in the original Avengers movie, by then, Tony would have made his suits probably invulnerable or at least resistant to electrical matter and, you know, things of that nature. So that right there, that's not even a plot hole. That's not a plot hole either way. Avengers Endgame is positively not only the greatest superhero movie ever, it is the greatest movie, it is the greatest thing ever. It absolutely is the greatest thing ever, and I am basing that on its functionality I'm basing that on what it does what it brings to the table and what it made me and I'm gonna go ahead and say it, millions of other people I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna take that leap and say it's millions of other people feel I am basing this movie success on the emotions it made you feel during this movie I felt everything I cried like a baby I screamed like an inmate. I just went ballistic for this movie. Left and right. Left and right. I, I think I've seen it five times, and the second time I cried more. The third time I cried more than the second time. The fourth time I cried more than the fifth time. I think the most I've cried during this movie is easily nine times. I'm, I'm not even kidding. And one of those times was at the end credit scene. This end credit scene. Not the end credits, I'm sorry, the credits. The end credits themselves made me start bawling like a baby. It's, it's just that amazing. 
Okay. Now, like I said, if you don't like the film, that's perfectly fine. But I've yet to hear a valid criticism. You got a valid criticism for it, that's fine. Most of the things I've heard is, all oh, the movie's trash because of this, blah, blah, blah. People also complain that Thanos is... It doesn't match his character. They destroyed the Thanos character. Okay, you have to keep in mind something. Infinity War Thanos is very different. This Thanos in this movie, he's not the same one. He's much younger. He's much younger. And the reason why he's different... The reason why he necessarily doesn't... You know, in the first one, he didn't really kill people if he didn't have to. This one, he just wants to kill them all. The reason is because he sees that even though he completed his work, the people who survived his snap don't appreciate it. They don't accept it. They try to undo it, and it pisses him off, and he just wants to fucking kill him. That's why he's different. They didn't destroy Thanos' character. That's actually a great way to spice it up. Uh, it, it really takes to heart the tone of the split uh, realities. Because if you think about it, that's a split reality for his character. It's quite different from Infinity War. Now, let's talk about character development. There are two characters in this film that take quite a drastic turn, and it pissed off some people. Uh, that, that would be Thor and Bruce Banner. And I'm here to tell you that their character arc in this film is absolute perfection. Absolute perfection. Wait, 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 what did you expect them to do? Did you expect them to just have the same thing? We've had the Hulk smashing thing. We've had the, the Thor muscular thing. You can't have that every film. There has to be strength. And based on what they went through, what do you think? Thor, after what he went through, is still going to be, oh, proud and muscular and he's not going to you know, lose himself. He's not going to let himself go a little bit, get depressed. He damn well is. So the, the way they handled Thor and Hulk in this movie was perfection. It, it truly was perfection. Plus, if we, Professor Hulk is in the comics. Okay? That's another thing I get really tired of. People are always say, people complain that the Marvel movies, oh, they don't follow the comics. And then these same people complain about things that are in these films that are actually ripped right from the comics. Like Professor Hulk. And time travel. Yes, this movie has time travel. Yes, that's something that people complained about. But like I said, the same people complained that, you know, they don't incorporate real events from the comics. But this is straight from the comics as well. This is how they solve it. Now, the way they handled time travel in this movie, I think is the best way any movie's done in handle time travel, honestly. The rules it sets are pretty good. And they make sense. You can't change the future by changing the past. Instead, it just splits off into alter reality. And that does make sense. There are millions of different choices to be made. Thus, there has to be millions of different possibilities and millions of different realities. So I think the way they the way they yeah, sorry, the way they handled time travel in this movie was fantastic. Guys, I wasn't originally gonna make this video because like I said, I'm done with movie reviews, but as much as I love this film, I felt it needed to be done. If you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, please go watch it. Please go watch it. I was spoiled about something before I saw this movie. I knew that Tony Stark was going to die. That's because YouTube, for some reason, recommended me a spoiler video called Tony Stark's Funeral Endgame Scene. For some reason. Like, I never looked it up. I didn't look up any Avengers in-game videos at all during that time. And in my, rec in my recommended inbox, where usually, you know, usually there's um, s channels I've subscribed to that have videos. And this was a channel I'd never even heard of before. Recommended me a spoiler video. It was my bad. I shouldn't have been on YouTube. I admit it. So yeah, I knew Tony Stark was going to die. Uh, I was kind of bummed out about that, so I didn't get I didn't get to experience that firsthand, which kind of sucks. But there is so much in this movie. Just just so much in this movie. The point where I completely lost my mind was right before the big battle, when Cap is about to face off against these this whole army that Thanos has, and he just stops because someone on his mic says, "Cap, can you hear me?" It's Sam. Can you hear me? 
and it's on your left. And then the portal's open and you see everyone come back. Doctor Strange, Drax, Mantis, you know, Star-Lord, Spider-Man, just everyone's there. Black Panther, just everyone comes back and they're all there. And the music, the tone of it, you just have all the... It's like Super Smash Ultimate, everyone is here. And, oh, Cap lifts uh, me on there, by the way. Which is really cool. I wasn't expecting that. That was really awesome. That wasn't my favorite part, but that was really cool. But the point where I completely lost my mind, the peak of my excitement for this movie was when they're all lined up. Cap says, Avengers. He lifts up his hand to grab the hammer. Catches it. And when this happened in the film, the first time I saw it, I was right beside my fiance. And when it happened, he said, Avengers. I, I was I was getting so excited. I literally out loud said, say it. Say it. And when he said, a symbol, I completely lost my mind. Like, I lost my mind. I have geeked out several times while watching movies in a the theater. I, I have. I have. This is a fact. And after I do a little bit, you know, you kind of feel embarrassed about it. You know, you kind of cheer like, oh, man, people probably look at me weird. I probably should stop. You, you feel a little bit of embarrassment with it. This film, I didn't give no fucks. I didn't care who looked at me. I don't care what they think about me. This film made me lose all semblance of control. I lost my mind. After he said a symbol and everything started happening, I was bouncing up and down in my seat. I was pounding my fist, just shaking, getting so excited. I couldn't breathe during this particular moment. I lost all ability to breathe. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I started hyperventilating. It was fantastic. It was such a great time. I just... Oh, God. And throughout that whole battle, it was just everything. It was the best fight scenes I've ever seen. And I just was so excited through the whole thing. I was losing my mind through the whole thing. Every single time I watch this film, I have the same reaction. And that is unbelievable. I'm trying to think of everything I wanted to say because there's so much to talk about this film. Uh, it's, it's quite sad. Sometimes are very sad. And um, yeah, I, I did cry a lot. I cried when Black Widow died. I did. I cried when that happened. I cried um, when Tony died. I, I was crying like a baby. When Pepper says, you can rest now, we're going to be okay, I, I can't control it. I cried during the scene where he's the hologram of Tony's talking to his daughter. I cried when, you know, his daughter says she wants cheeseburgers. I cried at the credits. Just everything. Oh. This movie is the greatest thing ever. I really wanted to beat Avatar. Now, I didn't hate Avatar when I saw it. It was okay. I think Avatar was enjoyable. Uh, but it wasn't anything special. It was kind of a plot that we've seen before. You know, nature's delicate life, which I agree with. A uh, military bad. Uh, <laughs> expansion bad, which I agree with. It, you know, I agree with these things. But it wasn't anything amazing. The reason why Avatar made as much money as it did is because, number one, it had no competition at the time. Number two, it was spouting the real 3D technology. Uh, so it basically was using a gimmick. And I believe it was actually in theaters a while, or it was released in theaters or something like that. I'm kind of fuzzy on the details. Uh, but I want Endgame to beat Avatar. Also, considering the crap that James Cameron said about Avengers movies, uh, it's just icing on the cake. Just complete icing on the cake. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about this film. Guys, Avengers Endgame was fucking fantastic. It was just fantastic. It is the greatest thing that you ever witness in your life. The greatest thing that you will ever, ever witness in your life. Truly. Truly the greatest thing you ever witness in your life. I'm not making this up. It is the greatest thing. No, no, no. Listen to me. It is the greatest thing ever in the history of mankind. Okay. Oh, I also cried when uh, you see old man cap. That was such, he did a great job as an old guy. And that was brilliant. His hand gestures, the way he talked. Man, they all deserve an Oscar, especially Robert Downey Jr. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you saw it in-game and you didn't like it, 
Um, feel free to leave your criticisms and you know down below. You know, tell me why you didn't like it. Um, if your criticisms are just you know plot holes that don't exist, oh uh, the movie was trash. You know what they do with Thor and Hulk. Uh, you can kindly just go fuck yourself and get the fuck off my channel. All right. It, something I don't usually do because I'm usually I usually try so hard to be the type of person that's like all you know all opinions are here but if you honestly came out of this movie and you think this movie is trash something's wrong with you something's wrong with you I'm sorry sorry not sorry this movie was fucking fantastic it was beautiful it was everything I wanted it to be and so much more it was absolutely the greatest thing I've ever witnessed in my life then that includes the birth of my children, whenever that may happen. I will never love anything as much as I love this movie. Avengers Endgame, I've seen it five times. I might go back for a sixth or seventh time. Whatever it takes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep the coffee hot. As always, finish the fight. And make sure you assemble.